Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and in this episode, I wanna give you advice that comes from Tim Ferriss. And this is a technique that he employs whenever he goes to publish a new book. Now, this advice applies beyond just the publishing world. It can apply to you know, music if you're releasing an album, a movie, you know, whether it, uh, for film festivals and distribution, an art exhibit and beyond, right? So these are just a number of the ways that this advice is applicable. And this advice is simple, but not always easy, right? Therein lies the crux of it, the idea that you have to actually put in the work to make it work. So what is the simple advice? Well, it is that when he's ready to publish a book, he reaches out to authors that have published within the last year to ask them basically what worked and what didn't. Now, of course, his questions are a lot more focused than that um, because the quality of your questions gives you the quality of results, you know? Um, but that's the basic idea is essentially he's trying to figure out what worked and what didn't. And that's in fact how he learned about podcasts and why he has a podcast is because on one of his books um, many years ago at this point, you know, he learned that podcasting was a great way to attract audiences and convert them, right? So he did a podcast tour uh, and all of a sudden that yielded results that he wanted with the book. And so he's like, oh, you know what? I, I, I really enjoy this, so I wanna do a podcast, right? So that's just a little bit of, of an aside. And it's not to, uh, you know, podcast still can work, but the reason why he asks specifically within the past year is because the media ecosystem is ever changing. And especially today, like it just continues to ramp up faster and faster, you know, like now TikTok is a big, um, you know, point of like conversion and stuff like that and, and, and attention grabbing and so forth, right? So that is why that one year is a key element of it because it gives you that information so you're not wasting time, <coughs> excuse me, time, effort, money, and just resources in general on stuff that doesn't yield those results, right? So it can, while it can be very glossy to go on today's show, that might not be the best fit for what you're trying to you know, get across. So um, again, reach out to the people that have done it within the past year and ask the right questions. So uh, do that and let me know your experience of this. Um, let me know how it goes and what you learn. I'd be very curious. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and hope to see you next time.